these are the four shows I'm most looking forward to at the Stratford Festival this season. As always, there's a lot of Shakespeare on the bill. The safest bet at the moment seems to be Artistic director Anthony Cimolino has brought Ian Lake, who recently starred in the Mervish production of Once, back into the fold to play the Scottish general who murders his way to the throne. He's got the right balance of brains and brawn, I think. And I'm also excited to see what Kristen Pellerin, who you may know from The Republic of Doyle, brings to Lady Macbeth. I've sent to peace than on the torture of the mind to lie in restless ecstasy. My second pick is a chorus line. Director and choreographer Donna Fiore has knocked it out of the park with a series of classic musicals at Stratford in recent years. Now she's got special permission to reimagine this 1970s hit about dancers auditioning for a big Broadway musical. We'll see if it's her next singular sensation. Arthur Miller has had a real revival in popularity lately with two shows on Broadway this season. Now Stratford is getting in on the act with All My Sons, a show about a family torn apart by war profiteering. Martha Henry is directing on the Tom Patterson stage where most of her best work has appeared and Joe Ziegler, Lucy Peacock and the up and coming Sarah Affle are starring. <laughs> Finally, I'm looking forward to seeing Shakespeare in Love in its North American premiere. A stage adaptation of the Oscar-winning movie, Shannon Taylor's taking on the Gwyneth Paltrow part, while Luke Humphrey is starring as the man himself, William Shakespeare. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. It's not Philip Sidney. Go on. That's all I've got. The show did well on the West End, but didn't really wow the critics. It's been shrunk down and reworked in Stratford, so I'm curious to see how it's evolved. Once the Stratford season opens, you can read my final verdict on all 13 shows in the season in the Globe and Mail.